Today, we're going to talk about lights. To start off, I'll explain a little bit about the lighting kit that we used for Keep the Change. The Aperture HR672C. This is the main light we use throughout the film. You can dim it, you can change the colour temperature. It's also battery powered, which was essential for most parts of the film as we shot outside and away from any power sources. We used a bunch of these little 160 LEDs to fit in small places. When we needed considerably more power, we used a set of 800 watt lights. These are super bright and versatile, but they get really hot, so gloves are a must. Other bits of equipment we used were things like diffusion paper to diffuse the light, coloured gels to change the colour temperature, various DIY flags that we made out of cardboard to help block any unwanted light, and lots of clips and duct tape. Let's talk about how we used them. The two main lighting setups were the car driving scene and the pizza box scene. For the car driving scene, if you had noticed, he isn't actually driving. I believe the best is yet to come. We have a video talking about it here. This scene was all filmed in my garage. We started by blocking out any natural light that was coming in from outside. Then we switched on all of the lights you'd expect to see when someone's driving along at night. This included the dashboard light, and in this case, the driver's phone screen. We used one of the small 160 LED panels with an orange gel and diffusion paper to help enhance the glow from the dashboard lights in order to brighten up the driver's face. We did the same thing to enhance the light from the phone screen, but we swapped out the orange gel for a blue gel. We put a light on the floor in the back of the car to light up the back seats. Just a touch. We used this exact setup when we shot the scene outside in the car, but we added two more extra lights on the outside of the car. The first light was to help simulate the moonlight, and this was achieved by using one of the small 160 LEDs with a blue gel. Then we used the aperture panel to help emphasize the street light on the right hand side. Now for the pizza box scene. The main source of light in this scene is the light above the table. The idea was to create a beam of light which only casts on the middle of the table, giving the focus point of the character to the place where the pizza box has to go down. We originally tried this with an 800 watt light, using the barn doors to flag the light and create the focus beam. The problem with using this light is that the light spills out the back through the gaps that let out the excess heat. We could have covered the gaps with black wrap, but fixing an incredibly hot light right above the actor and then covering the ventilation points was a disaster waiting to happen. The next best option was the Aperture LED panel. It doesn't really get hot, but unfortunately we don't have a set of barn doors on it. So what we did was build a platform for the light to sit on. Then we made a hole in it so we could use the barn doors from the 800 watt light. With a little bit of trial and error, we had something that produced this. The next light we set up for this scene was the backlight. For this one, we used the 800 watt light, added orange gel, and we dimmed the light just enough so it would add a harsh edge light. The light coming from the pizza box was achieved by placing a 160 LED panel in the pizza box and covering it with an orange gel. Then we pumped smoke into the back of the box and lifted the lid using fishing wire as a pulley. The shop was touched up in post, which we talked about in an episode here. In order to create a harsh light rising up and hitting the actor's face, the 160 LED we used in the pizza box wasn't bright enough. So we placed an 800 watt light under the table and using a bunch of cardboard, we were able to block out the light from hitting the walls and only land on the actor. Then we used another piece of cardboard and lifted it near the actor's face to replicate the light coming from the pizza box. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen Keep the Change yet, click on the link below. You can also find the Fix It and Post episode, which we mentioned in this episode there. And if you like what you see, subscribe.